We um, Jason and I went to my friend's graduation the other day. Oh yeah, which is great. I want to apologize to uh, you. Uh huh. Well, I gave you. I gave. I was a real jerk about going to Chicago, and I had the best time. Oh, you had a good time. <laughs> yeah. It is a lot of fun when you kind of just let go, and I think I gave you a lot of time to sleep. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like you're like you're like a fucking rechargeable battery. <laughs> I think he's good to go now. We can wake him up. <laughs> um, no, we went to my friend's graduation, and um, that was great. Super fun. No, possibility. Wait, wait, what the fuck am I saying? Hold on, it was horrible. <laughs> so no, you no, you were in a bad mood. I was in Cause such you a didn't shit sleep. mood because I, I posted my vlog at yeah. I think eight forty five, and then at nine forty five we had to hit the road. Oh, you only slept an hour? No, I didn't even sleep. Oh, I, I, no I, wonder you were grumpy. I just packed my bags. I was in the worst fucking mood, and now we had to head to like the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. to this town yeah. at, for his graduation. DeKalb. Yeah, and we, we got we got to DeKalb. I was. <clears throat> I was in such a grumpy mood there, and then it started raining, like this, like like this bitchy rain, like it wasn't like <laughs> pouring, but little fucking drops, yeah. of, like freezing drops, Spittle. were hitting us. Like it was like, yeah, it was literally like someone was spitting on us from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Like it wasn't enough where I was like, oh, I gotta run to the school and yeah. take cover, but it also wasn't enough where should I take my time? It was like a weird in between. I didn't like that, and I was just, so, it was pissing me off so much because I was so grumpy. I know this is your sweet spot too, a college graduation, oh my God. and you can film whatever you want. It was supposed to be the best time of my life. Yeah. Um, no, but we got there, whatever. The graduation was fine. It was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be, right? Uh-huh. And you're not allowed to toss your cap anymore. Th- that pissed me off so much. The students aren't allowed to throw their hats in the air <laughs> after they graduate because someone a couple years ago hurt their eye. <laughs> Fucking, are you serious? These are college kids. These are adults that aren't allowed to throw their hat, their cap in the air because someone hurt their eye. Why I can't high five at school anymore? They what? outlawed high fiving. Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Why can't you high five? Not allowed. Not allowed to touch each other. Oh my fucking. Isn't that goodness. crazy? I mean, it is and it isn't. Like yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? What? Well, high fives are. Th- that's what kept me alive <laughs> in high school. If I if I wasn't high fiving, hang people, on a second. Yeah. You were high fiving a lot in high school. Ton. Oh my god, I was the, one of the biggest. Give high-fivers. me an example of when you high fived. I, 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 the teacher handed out test, and she handed me the test, and I high fived her. I'd go, "Hey, let's get this." I said, "I would." I say, "I." Well, what I would say right before she handed out the test, I'd say, "I'd high five her," and I'd go, "Let's get this paper," and it'd be a joke because it was we weren't making money. I just wanted the paper to take the exam. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah. So good like job. stuff like that, and like I can't do that if high fiving is outlawed. Anyway. I really hated the whole no cap throwing at graduation. All the money that I have in my bank account, yeah. I would pay to be able to go back into a time machine and look at you junior year in high school. Yeah. I, I'd pay it. it was I great. would have loved to have seen it. I was unstoppable. That was, genu- <laughs> that was genuinely the peak of my existence. Really? Yeah. I'd go, I'd go back and redo high school again. I'm kind of scared of saying that too, like, too out loud because I don't want like some fairy to hear me and make that happen. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm back. Um, no, I would, I would, if I can come back to where I am now and do all four years again, I would. Mm. I, I really, like, I really thrived in high school. I had such a good time because it was so careless. And you know what it was? It was so interesting to see all the people in school all the time. It was like these people had to hang out with you because right. they had to go to they had to go to school. Like it was like hanging out with your friends every day, and it was mandatory. Yeah, like, that's that's why I loved high school so much. I don't know. Anyway, at the college, they didn't let you throw the caps. I got pissed. And then, um, and then we surprised him with a MacBook, and then mm-hmm. we gave him twenty five thousand dollars to pay off the rest of his tuition. Yeah, that was sick. And, and then, yeah, and like, and he was the, the, his initial reaction was he was like really silent because he didn't know what to say, and yeah. it was great because then uh, he cried a little bit, and then we left, and then he just fucking broke into tears at Rosati's when we were getting pizza, <laughs> and he's like, I thought all my tears were gone, <laughs> and he started crying there. And then the next day when I got back home, I landed. He called me in the morning. And he just started crying again. Oh, wow. That's the best. And then didn't he like... I love when people cry. Didn't oh, my he, God. Did, it, you should come uh, hang out with me in the shower. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, with you in the shower? <laughs> yeah, maybe. What is my life? <laughs> what is my life? My, my ex-wife's new boyfriend. Oh, my God. Him. Dude, if I caught you crying in the shower, I don't know. I don't know if I could I keep doing this with you. Because... <laughs> That's such a vulnerable place to find someone crying in the shower. Yeah. That like like naked body, just soaked. Yeah, sitting on the floor, hugging my knees. Yeah. Have you, when was the last time you cried in the shower? Um, Probably like yesterday. <laughs> actually. No, nah, I, I don't know. I cry in my car, actually, more than the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I cry all the time in my car. Why? Uh, just, I don't. 
I, I literally cry from joy when I think about you guys. Oh, uh, not, not that, that makes like, me tear like, up. What? Like, I literally cry from joy that, like, I can't believe all of this exists. Yeah. Yeah. It is pretty crazy. I said it today to everybody, and everybody fucking told me to shut up. <laughs> 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 Jeff was here. Todd was here. Joe was here. All my favorites. Heath. And I love everybody, if I didn't mention their name. And, I, and I'm standing in the middle, and I go, guys, how cool is it that we all get to, like, work together every day and hang out? Like, this is incredible. Yeah. And David goes, shut the fuck up, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, well, that we... may have happened. <laughs> That's the one story I can't confirm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that, that, that was pretty bad. I'm sorry about that. What's going on in Mount Everest? You've been following this story, and, and you've tried to explain it to me like four times, and I don't understand. Yeah, in the last, I think, fuck, I'm going to get this wrong. In the last like two, three weeks, 11 people have died climbing up it. Yeah. Because it's like, there's like a, some fucking crazy foot traffic trying to get up to the top of Mount Everest. And, and like, and at one point, it's like a, just a solid line of people climbing this fucking mountain. Oh, my God. I'm looking at the picture on Twitter. It's literally people walking up a, a mountain in a line, in a single file line. Jeff was telling me that it costs around 60 grand to climb Mount Everest. Why, why are there so many people? I mean, I was just thinking about it. It's pretty fucking cool if you can climb Mount Everest. Do you know that they have a gumball machine at the top of it? <laughs> <laughs> they have a Coke machine? A Klondike bar? <laughs> <laughs> that would, that'd be the best fucking... That'd be the best advertisement, a Klondike bar machine at the top. I would Dylan climb Francis. it. I'd, I'd climb it if I can get helicopter lifted off of it when I'm at the top. Going down must be just as hard. And it's like, and for what reason? There's no motivation to go down other than to save your own life. You know what I mean? Like going yeah. up, you have this thing. I'm going to get to the fucking top. Yeah. But then you're like, I got to fucking go down? What? Yeah. Fuck oh, that. Fuck or that. they should make like a slide or an elevator or some shit. <laughs> like fucking make make the down part a lot more fun. It, 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 yeah. It just blows my mind. Did, uh, did you hear me when I said 60 grand to climb up it? Oh, yeah, Cause, yeah. Because you have to – because I think you get to – like when you climb a thing like Everest or like any big like peak, you can you can pay for people to come carry all your stuff. So you have to have a guide so he can help you. And then you can have people like carry oxygen tanks, food, tents, supplies – and I think the more you pay, the more people you have that come with you, I would assume. Yeah. And Heath was saying that, like, when you climb Mount Everest, you actually have to stop. I'm, this is all from my friend, so I don't know if this is factual. Yeah. But, um, but he's saying you have to stop and smoke weed. I'm kidding. That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said he did say you have to stop at certain elevations and spend, like, multiple hours just at that elevation just so your body gets used to it. Before you continue the climb. Oh, wow. So it's like a couple day journey no matter what, even yeah. if you're just a really fast guy. Guys, we're giving out a ton of information that we're not sure about right now. And <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes on the Views podcast. Yeah, and, and the top of Mount Everest, it's, it's candy coated. It's made of jelly beans. <laughs> jelly beans. <laughs> and I, I know that because my friend Zane told me that one. I walked in here the other night and David had uh, some friends over and they're just watching people dying videos, oh parkour videos. Yeah. And you were watching some parkour videos, and I said, oh, people must die doing this. Yeah, and there, there weren't parkour videos. You, there, there, there was, we were watching those videos where people climb, like, buildings, like skyscrapers. Yeah. Like, huge skyscrapers, like ginormous ones, and they hang off the edge of them. Yeah. And Jason was like, they must die doing this. And I'm like, they do. And then I showed everyone a video of a guy literally falling off to his death. What's the mindset there? Risking your life jumping on a skyscraper. I mean, it's the same thing as climbing Mount Everest. It's just a cool thing to do. Like it, it's like it's like it's like you asking me what's the mindset of you marrying my mother? I, I it's just you're crazy. Kinda, it's, <laughs> it's a cool thing to do. Like I'm glad I have that story. Yeah, now. but you're not going to die doing that. Uh, I don't know, man. She's been a handful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's flipping She's me off. She's flipping David off right now. <laughs> uh, good for you. She does not take any of your shit. No, she doesn't. That's why we're getting a divorce. I, I take all I take all of your shit. Yeah, she Yeah, does. but she doesn't care. She talks about you all the time. Um, no, but I would I would climb Mount Everest for sure. You would not. Yeah, in a couple, liar. In a couple years. Yeah, right. You really, when I'm done with the vlogs, you really and I marry Natalie. You, what the fuck? <laughs> you really doubt me, Jay. Natalie carrying all your shit up Mount Everest. <laughs> you getting all the glory filming yourself. You turn into a vacation vlogger, like extreme vlogger. That's awesome. You're ripped. You have huge muscles. <laughs> um. Yeah, that'd be maybe, sick. Maybe that's David, the dream. I can't believe we're doing this. It's really cold. I have icicles coming out my nose.